In today's lesson, we're looking at uh, GST. Now, GST stands for Goods and Services Tax. And it's a tax that you pay whenever you buy uh, a good, so something, or you pay someone to do something for you. So, um, for instance, if you go down to the shop and buy a Mars bar, or like a can of Coke, or you go and buy like an iPhone, you'll need to pay GST on some of those goods. Also, if you pay someone to like mow your lawn, so lawn mowing, or you pay like an accountant to do your taxes or something like that, you'll also pay a tax on that as well. Uh, so, very simplistic, the way that the GST works. That's my shopkeeper here. There's this little, uh, whatever you call it, the counter. Uh, now, you're going to be in green, you're going to come up to the shopkeeper, and you're going to say, hey, I want to buy that thing, and you'll give him some money. And so you buy the thing, you walk away, you've got like the new iPhone thingy, and you walk away, and you're done. Now, he's got all of this money. He collected all of that money. A little bit of that money he now needs to give to the uh, tax office. So they keep a little bit of that. So that means that he loses, say, this one here. And he gets to keep these ones here. Okay, now the magic number to think about when it comes to the GST, a big number here, because the GST is the same on every single thing that gets sold. The GST is 10%. So the GST on everything, whether it's uh, Mars bars or Cokes or iPhones or lawn mowing or accounting is 10%. So let's run through this example here. Uh, if the pre-GST price of an iPhone is $520, how much is the sale price? So a little bit of terminology here. Uh, oops, where is it? Pre-GST price. Now the pre-GST price means before GST is added. So that's like the, the price that Apple recommends that you sell the, the phone for. But then the government needs their cut as well, their 10%. Now the formula that we're going to use for this is sale price equals pre-GST, so pre-GST price times 1.1. Now you might be looking at that 1.1 and wondering where does that come from. If we're adding 10% to something, that means we're multiplying it by 0.1, this is just a little explanation up here, it means we're multiplying it by 0.1 to find 10%, excuse the crows there guys, um, that means we're multiplying it by 0.1. If you want to know how much the total price is going to be, you need to know 110%, and 110% as a decimal is 1.1. Now, if that uh, explanation didn't make a lot of sense to you, don't worry. What you have here is a really simple formula. The sale price equals pre-GST times 1.1. After that, it's really a matter of putting in your numbers. Uh, pre-GST price is 520. You're going to multiply it by 1.1. Now, you can put that straight into your calculator, and you'll get an answer of 572. So, in our example here, in our example here, when you went and bought the iPhone, uh, you must have given that guy $572. That guy kept $520, and he gave, well, if you gave him $572, and he kept $520, that must mean that he gave the tax office $52. Uh, so that's how the GST worked. Just something else that I really wanted to mention really quickly. Um, you might also get asked a question that looks like this. It's only slightly different. Calculate the GST on a chocolate bar with a pre-GST price of $2. Now, this question is different to this one because this question asks how much is the sale price, whereas this question asks how much is the GST. Now, GST is equal to the pre-GST price times not 1.1 like it was up here, 
but only times 0 0.1. Because we're just trying to find 10% of whatever the pre-GST price was. Now, our pre-GST price in this question is $2. And we're going to multiply it by 0 0.1. That means that we're going to end up with a GST price. Put that in your calculator. Of, uh, sorry, a GST, that is a tax payable, of uh, $0.2. In other words, 20 cents. Finally, that means if we wanted to, the question didn't ask us for it, but if we did want to know the sale price, we know that the sale price would be equal to whatever the pre-GST price was, $2, plus the GST, which was 20 cents. So it's going to cost $2.20 to buy that chocolate bar. Uh, that's the basics of calculating GST. Um, in a future video, we might reverse this whole process.